youth runner here with uh, El Paso Eastwood standout, uh, Danny Torres. He was fantastic last year at the Desert Twilight Festival. Things went to a whole nother level tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He is now part of a sub-15 group, which is a very elite group on top six guys all, in, uh, all under 15, all, all around uh, or better than the previous meet record, which is 1451, held by the great Billy Orman from Tuba City uh, more than a decade ago. So anytime Danny's in that conversation, you know he's doing something pretty, uh, pretty special. Uh, I mean, obviously, like I said, you know, last year was a great race for you, but I mean, just more depth uh, this year, six guys under, under 15. How meaningful is this for you? Man, it's awesome, especially to see all this hard work um, over the summer, just overall, it, see, it, see it pay off at big meets like this. It's definitely, it's definitely something good to see. How encouraged have you been about just the training and, and, and the preparation for here, and especially you being one of those guys along with, you know, Rocco was up there as well, that like understand this, you know, this course and, so, and understand like, you know where you need to kind of settle in and where and, and where where you can attack you know but how encouraged were you about the preparation um i was i was very encouraged um the experience from this course running it last year running it actually all three years and last year being the most competitive year excluding this year um it was it was definitely the preparation was definitely there um the experience definitely helped a lot just knowing when to settle in when to start kicking and um last year i did a little bit of an early kick and this year i definitely I was able to you measured it a little, bit. It a little yeah, bit better, yes sir, on, on kind of where to start speeding up because, man, I swear that finish line just keeps getting farther and farther. Absolutely, but you keep getting faster and faster, yes, sir. Uh, so that's always a blessing for the group. I mean, I always talk about, right, I mean, like, you guys could have very easily stayed in your home state and gone to Nike South, right, but obviously to have the blessing of being around all these incredible Southwest athletes and teams, you know that that's what it's going to take, you know, for, uh, for the the group to be you know, to be there, you know, at state and 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 to be there at uh, at, at Nike South. So, yes, just how how beneficial is this environment not only for Danny Torres but for all the troopers? Oh man, it's awesome, especially to come out here, get all this competition, get all this experience, so that when we go to big meets, we can really perform and show them what we're made out of. Absolutely, I know you, uh, you said that. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, just being able to hold that in intense pace you know, for 5K, especially on September 27th, is easier said, uh, said uh, than done. But do you feel like you, you learned something about like how you can respond to these challenges tonight? Because like I said, you were exceptional here last year and you were absolutely extraordinary tonight. Yes sir, no, I really appreciate it. Um, I mean, man, this is definitely encouraging. Um, it definitely proves that the hard work doesn't go unnoticed. It definitely, it proves, it pro proves itself out there, proves it to myself that um, running every day, running every night, it definitely, it's just showing. So. It's definitely, it's definitely awesome to see it um, out there, and yeah. Awesome. Danny, stay healthy, safe trip home. Wishing you and the guys all, all the best as you prepare for the postseason. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you.